morning to everyone. Today's video is a little different. Primarily we talk about soft tissue issues, but today we are talking about a harder tissue and that tissue is bone. Um, one thing you need to understand is that bone is a living tissue. It has a great blood supply. It is constantly being broken down and rebuilt. It's, in, it's just a constant state. The load you put through that bone will break it down a little bit and then you will also heal from the damage you've done to that bone. So that's how some people have really strong bones and some people have really weak bones depending on how much load you put through those bones. So what can happen when load exceeds capacity, there's some amount of breakdown of that bone. If that load is too high, if that load exceeds the capacity, you will get a fracture. So if, if it's a high load, quickly applied, you'll get a straight clean break. If it's a low load that's repetitively applied, what you're looking at is a stress fracture. So these are less obvious because you don't have a uh, you know, clean break in the bone. These typically do not show up on x-ray. You would need more advanced imaging to determine that. But what you're gonna be looking for are, is a pain on a bone. Um, and it's gonna be applied in an area that, let's say you were a runner. Um, what we look for, um, feet and then the lower leg are high, very common areas for these to occur. Um, and you need to get this diagnosis right because these things can progress and do more and more damage to the bone um, and these things need to rest. So if you think you may be dealing with a stress fracture, if you've tried other things and this pain you're getting, symptoms you're getting aren't clearing out, uh, definitely get an evaluation, get it looked at, and remember an x-ray really is almost useless in diagnosing stress fractures. Thanks for listening. I hope you found this educational. If you have any questions, please send me a message. Have an awesome weekend.